What is up, you guys? It is your boy, Borderlands, back here on Borderlands 2. And I have another Borderlands 2 tip for you guys on how to kill Pyro Pete the Invincible. Now, um, he can be a bitch at times, so, but it, I know a little exploit for you guys, but, um, right here, I'm sure the equipment I will be using, I will be using the Shock and, um, regular North Fleet. I do, I mean North Fleet, Sandhawk, but I do have the regular Sand, uh, Slag, Sandhawk, but on a different character. Um, I do have a North Fleet just in case I might get put down, and I do have the Avenger to regenerate my ammo for this. Now, I will be taking this off. Go ahead and show you guys in a second. Equip that, and um, I will. I have an aggressive relic that has SMG damage, and I had this wild class. My, I recommend you will at least use these. Now, I'm um, going to get started here. So, um, I do have my friends with me, so do not mind them. But, um, I recommend at least have one character with at least some type of, um, some type of slag element. Now, first off, I'm going to let him do it. Ghost Killer do it. Let him do it. Grenade jump right here. One, two, three. Jump. And boom, you up here. Now, he can be a bitch at times. Um, now watch out, because, like, if you do not do it right, he can fuck you up, like, literally. Now, um, now... We're going to show you guys here in a second. He can get stuck. Now, if his big stupid ass gets stuck up here, that's pretty good. That can be pretty good because if he gets stuck, that means you're in business. That's why. Oh, need to be shield. Okay. That's why I'm not doing no damage. Now, see, as you can see, he got stuck. Now, if I was you, I'd get down right from right here, just in case he ended up fucking you up. I'm just going to show you guys. I'm just going to take down his shield here in a second. And um, I want to end the video because this can take at least about 10 minutes. I don't want to waste you guys' time. As you can see, the reason why I say at least using a siren because you had that specific stuff for her. And because um, the class mod, I do have a relic. The relic is for everybody, so that's pretty good. An additional relic. And, um... Reason why I say this because if you use like a Necromancer or um, Krieg, it can be really hard. Now, as, as you can see, you can get here from that blast radius. I have been a couple of times, and I say it is pretty hard. And plus, you got them rats who can really cock block you. So, um, go ahead and get through this real quick. Make sure you always slack him if you want this to help because, as you can see at the bottom of my screen where the class mods are, the, um, the relic it gives you that extra SMG damage, and since you really can't use the other, you know, the other classes, I mean the other elements, because he resistance to fire and corrosion, so that's pretty good. And you can see right there, you got hit. Now be careful. Now, um, if you get hit, you gotta make sure you take out these lab rats pretty quickly. As you can see, I'm going to do a grenade jump as I showed you guys. I'm gonna do a grenade jump right here. One, two, three. Okay, he got in the way, but um, show you guys one more time. One, two, three. Get up there, and you. Did, I'm just gonna take his ass out because he really gonna be a bitch. Because um, and make sure you have some type of slag element, as I said. Especially, I recommend. I mean, I did it with Gun Zerker one time, and um, it really wasn't helpful. Oh shit! Now, make sure you get back right here. As you can see right there. Now, I will switch to the regular St. Hawk because you get the extra damage for doing it regularly. So, um, as you see, he's going to try to... And make sure you get the headshots now. That's where it's really going to take effect. Revive him real quick. But, um, yeah, make sure you get that headshot right there. Now, um, a commando would do if he had that type of damage or... Even an assassin, I think, but it probably take longer. Now the whole reason why I use my um my uh, uh oh shit okay. The whole reason why I use my um siren because I can automatically slag slag him and boom he's already right there. And plus the relics I already showed you earlier in the video, but um I guess I can record the whole video guys for you guys and see show you that it's better than just you know running around. And having them, his minions level up, because that can be really bad. 
make sure you just always hit him in the head. Always aim for the head. Now, um, I will show you guys here in a second, but um, let's just hurry and get this done here. As you can see, it takes about at least five minutes. Now, if you don't, now if you can do this without the lab rats, you could have been done at least in about two minutes. Now, um, if you do not have the gear, you know, hook me up, hit me up on PS3. I guess I'll um, hit you up. I mean, hit me, uh, hook you up with it, with the gear you need. But um, make sure you have the siren. It'll be best, but you can do it all. Now, as you can see at the bottom right of your screen, my um, ammo is regenerating because my friend over there, little ghost killer, is, and he got my ass. But it really doesn't matter because the battle's almost done anyway. So, um. So it really doesn't matter. So, um, boom. Let's go ahead and hit them. End them right now. Yeah, it's basically over now. And boom, right there. Um, so that's how you kill Power P, you guys. You know, rate, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit me up on social networks or Twitch. I do live stream on Black Ops. And I will see you guys next video. Anything we got here? Uh, he dropped the same shit every time. But um, yeah, as I say, I'll see you guys next video.